Hello and welcome to the Excel 2010 Essential Training Series. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at formatting and how we can improve the overall look and feel of a spreadsheet. Before we begin you need to make sure you've downloaded and opened this spreadsheet. It can be downloaded by clicking on the tutorial files link below. OK, so this spreadsheet is a simple income and expenditure spreadsheet for a technology store. We've got the income here, we've got the expenditure, and here will be where we work out whether they're making a profit or loss later on. Now, one thing you might have noticed is some of the items in the income column don't quite fit, they've been cut off, we can't see the end of the lines. So we need to make the column wider. What we can do is we can go between the two columns at the top here and click and drag to make the column wider. We can also double click between the two columns to automatically expand it to fit the content. So here you can see total income doesn't quite fit so I'll double click between columns F and G and it's expanded it to show the total income label. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to see how we can make the headings and the titles stand out a little bit more. So we've got the heading for this table, the income table. Now I'm going to make this bold and increase the size. Now, I also want to add that to this title, so I'm going to make that bold and increase the size again. Here, the headings for each of the columns, I'm simply going to make these bold and center align them. Now that makes them stand out a little bit more. But there's one more thing we could do. We could change the fill color so the background colour. So I'll click on this little drop down arrow to choose a colour. I'm going to choose a light orange. There we go. Now I want these two cells to have the same formatting as these cells. So to do this I'm going to highlight the first cells, click on the format painter and then highlight the cells I want to format and automatically the formatting has been changed. Now the other things that need to stand out are the totals. So I'm going to just make these bold to make them stand out a little bit more. This is already looking a lot better but we can still improve it. If we add borders around the tables it will make them stand out a little bit more and make them easier to read. So I'm going to highlight this table and I'm going to click on this little drop down arrow and choose all borders. This means it will add borders around every cell that I've got highlighted. There we go. I'm also going to add borders around these two cells here. If I scroll down I'm going to do the same thing with the expenditure table and these two cells here. Okay, so that's already looking so much better. The only thing we're missing is an overall title for the spreadsheet. We can add this in a number of ways. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type it in the top, so I'm going to put technology shop income and expenditure. Okay, now again this doesn't quite fit, but I don't want to have to make the column that wide. So what we can do is we can merge cells together, we can join them together. So I'm going to highlight this top row, and I'm going to click on this button. This button merges the cells. Okay, so they're now joined together. So I can make that title bigger, and even change the text color if I wanted to. There we go, so that stands out. Okay, so it's much easier to read, it looks much more professional. 
we also need to change the formatting of some of the cells. For example, if we highlight the price and cost columns, these need to be set to currency. So if I click on this drop down, you see these are all the different cell formats we can choose from. I'm going to choose currency and you'll see that it's automatically added a pound symbol to the front of each of these numbers because now it knows that we're dealing with currency in those cells. We can do the same thing with the cost column here. Okay that's it, I hope you found this tutorial useful. For more information please visit classroommultimedia.com